I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series where I'm helping students to find solution of their questions. So here is another question from limits and continuity. We have a piecewise function. We need to find the values of a and b for the condition given to us. Let's see what the question is. It says consider the function f of x equals to ax minus b divided by x minus 2 when x is less than or equal to 1, 3x when x is between 1 and 2, and bx square minus a when x is greater than or equal to 2. What must be true for a and b for f of x to be continuous at x equals to 1? So we need continuous at x equals to 1, but discontinuous at x equals to 2. Right, so that is the function. And we want it to be continuous in one part. So we want this part to be continuous. That means at x equals to 1 and this part discontinuous. But here we want continuous. So now when the function has to be continuous at x equals to 1, that means the rational function and the linear function should meet at x equals to 1, correct? That's what it means. So at x equals to 1, ax minus b over x minus 2 should be equal to 3x. Substituting 1 here, we get a minus b over 1 minus 2 should be equal to 3, right? Since x is 1. Now, we can just cross multiply and solve. So we have a minus b equals to, this is minus 1, right? So let me go one more step, minus 1 equals to 3, or we have a minus b equals to cross multiply, so minus 3. We can write a is equal to b, taking b on this side, b minus 3. So this becomes the condition for the function to be continuous at x equals to 1. So the condition here is that a should be equal to b minus 3. So there could be many solutions. So as you can see here, we actually get many solutions. So for example, if b is let's say 5, then a is 2. Right? So we have many solutions. And that is how they are related. So that will make the function continuous. Now, for making discontinuous functions, what should be the condition? Now, we'll analyze at x equals to 2. So, at x equals to 2, these two points should not meet, right? So, we have 3x. So, that means 3x should not be equal to bx square minus a at x equals to 2. That is what we are trying to say, right? Also, remember, there is a discontinuity x is not equal to 2, right? So, so it's important to say here, write down a condition that x belongs to real numbers, but x is not equal to 2, right? So that's the domain of our function. Okay, let's solve this. Substituting the value 2 here, we get 3 times 2 should not be equal to b times 2 square minus a, or 6 should not be equal to 4b minus a. So, so that means that a should not be equal to 4b minus 6. So this is another condition. So that should also be met, right? So 4b should not be, 4b minus 6 should not be equal to a. So that should also be met. If I replace a with b minus 3 here, then what do I get? Let's try to explore that also. So if I replace a with b minus 3, but at b minus 3, it is continuous, right? So uh, let's see what do we get. Do we get anything extra? Let's just try to figure out 4b minus 6. So bringing this on this side and 6 on this side, we get 6 minus 3 not equal to 4b minus b. So that is 3. So we that gives you that 3b is not equal to 3 or b is not equal to 1, right? So we have a condition that b is not equal to 1 
displacing these two things, right? So let's call this to be a condition that B is not equal to 1. Is that okay? So if B is not 1, then we could have B which is greater than 1 or we have B which is less than 1. In that case, the function is discontinuous, correct? And A equals to B minus 3. So these are the two conditions. So and. Perfect. So that is how you are going to actually solve this question. I hope that makes sense, right? Feel free to write your comments, share your views. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel. All the best.